Hello, nice to have you here again. Now we start a lecture and this postcard about collision lesions in dermoscopy. So this podcast is mainly based on the experience of a very nice multi-center study of the International Dermoscopy Society and all these co-authors um, do have a lot and high impact in the collection of this data and images and so therefore I am able to present this to you. So this podcast provides basics of collision lesions of the skin and the distribution at the body, the distribution according to the histopathology and the variety of collision lesions in dermoscopy. I will show you some examples for you. And at the end, hopefully, a helpful conclusion at a special skin model for you. Let us start in the beginning just with the basics. And I just show you these skin models because we, we needed to understand where we can find benign and malignant lesions of the epidermis and dermis origin. So let, let us have a look for the epidermis and benign section. So we can have, for example, lentigo simplex or keratoacanthoma. Actinic keratosis is a benign lesion, it's not a precancer lesion. And most of them, the melanocytic nevi, do you, you know it, and especially the separate keratosis. When we move to the benign cells and the origin for a benign lesion, for a benign tumor, we can have it from the dermis with an angioma, also melanocytic nevus, remember the dermal nevus, the dermatofibroma, sebaceous hyperplasia, milia cysts, and also the benign kaposhi, which you can um, put into this category. When we move to the malignant lesions of the epidermis, we will see from the cell origin, the bone disease, same squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, the most um, skin tumor in the white population, and especially the melanoma, you know, as well. This is rare um, compared to the basal cell carcinoma, but uh, the origin is an atypical and um, uh, typical melanocytes uh, which moved into the melanoma and also the Merkel cell carcinoma which is rare. When we move to malignant lesions from the origin from the dermis you can also find the melanoma, remember the dermal nevus which can switch into the melanoma, dermatofibroma sarcoma, dermatofibroma sarcoma protuberans and exnexal malignant rare tumors and malignant kaposhi sarcoma. When we move to our study and the of the collision lesions at our body, what did we find? So the most of the collision lesions were um, found at the trunk, nearly 50%, followed um, by around 25% head and neck, and lower extremities and upper extremities were um, less common in our study. And when to the distribution according to histopathology, what did we find? Very interesting, around one third uh, had the origin, or in one third of the lesions, there was a melanocytic part, that means either a nevus or a melanoma, and combined, for example, with um, BCC, SEPK, and GEOMA. And look at the medium age of 53 years. And if we did not find a melanocytic part, but we find a BCC part, um, it was more than 40%. But look here at the age, it was nearly 10 years older compared to the melanocytic part. Very interesting, and we work this out later on, what could be the cause of this. And also nearly the same as with BCC, when we did find a seborrheic keratosis, but not a BCC or melanocytic part, so a seborrheic keratosis, for example, with an angioma. Also, the median age was higher than 60 years, nearly the same as the BCC. When we also look for the distribution of the collision lesions at the body and we check it for the head and neck. More collision lesions 
um, with BCC versus melanocytic part, what at the head and neck area. And when we compare this with the trunk, more collision lesions, um, with melanocytic part, that means nevus or melanoma, where uh, more found at the trunk compared um, to the BCC. That means in head and neck, you find more collision lesions with BCC at the trunk, more collision lesions with melanocytic part. We looked a little bit, and this is quite interesting, to the cell combination. That means epidermal-epidermal origin or epidermal-dermal origin. And then we looked for the age, and epidermal, epidermal origin with the collision lesions were older with 63 years compared to 55 years with epidermal dermal origin. Also more males than females with epiderm epidermal combination, and more at the head and neck area compared, um, so epidermal, epidermal cell combination compared to epidermal dermal cell combination. What could be the cause? First, the lifetime, we live longer. And when we live longer and we stay longer outside, we have a higher UV radiation. And this will, will be the very important conclusion which we need to deal in future in our daily work, in practice or in clinic. So let us have a short look to some um, collision lesions in dermoscopy. For example, this lesion you see here in A area, the melanocytic part, and B and C, the part of the several keratosis. The second lesion, this collision lesion, you see in the A part, the blue nevus, and in the B part, the initial um, start of the several keratosis. In the next one, you see very nicely on the left hand side the dermal nevus. So a little bit exophytic as well as the angioma on the right hand side is also a little bit exophytic and they are very nice closely coming together. Also here, what do we see in the upper part in A and B? We do see the melanocytic nevus and in C, this hypopigmented center of the dermatofibroma which is presented with a D part of this hyperpigmented area, post-inflammatory pigmented area in the, at the periphery. A little bit more complicated and tricky is this lesion. You see this must be an older man or woman. This one we can't see, but you see various UV damaged skin. And when we look at this, we do see at A and B area, this must be the melanocytic part, that means there is a melanoma, very atypical. And in the C part, very distinct, but you can see it, a kind of hyperkeratosis, so perhaps a kind of actinic keratosis or squamous cell carcinoma. And the D part, you see the polymorphia of vessels, in which can be a part of the A area, that means a melanoma, or also of the C area of the squamous cell carcinoma. And this one you cannot you cannot differentiate from which part of the tumor um, this is the base for. So this one we will see more and more more and more often because the population is getting older and there are more in the sun and this one you will we will see this in future more and more in sun damaged skin that you have a combination of two sometimes three and very rarely but possible of four um, benign or malignant skin lesions also one tricky lesion here um, what do we see so in on the lower right hand side, A and B, you have the um, differential part of the lentigo maligna or even lentigo maligna melanoma with the B part of the initial invasive part. And in C, you have this aberizing vessels of the basal cell carcinoma. And in D, you have the oval nests, which is also the part of the BCC. So a BCC left hand part and um, lentigo maligna or switching into lentigo maligna melanoma on the right lower um, part of this image. Very nicely here also as well in the center surrounded with a um, sepke at the periphery. 
periphery in the center you have the basal cell carcinoma with the oval nests represented in A and in B, C uh, and D you have this uh, differential structures of the separate keratosis. Also the last example of this collection which I would like to show you is this. You have, we can also have a combination of a skin lesion, that means benign malignant skin tumor, with a part of an infection part, that means for example for virus. So at the periphery you see the several keratosis and in the center the verruca vulgaris, which is just coming up in the center of the several keratosis. At the end, I just like to repeat you with this helpful, um, hopefully for the helpful conclusion at the skin model. Remember where is the origin of the cell, which could be lead to the benign lesion or the malignant lesion of the epidermis or dermis, and then you can combine all of these lesions, nevertheless, which you like to have because nature is is has a very high variety. And this one we need to deal um, and to work with in our daily practice. Also, we need to combine this model that with our longer lifetime, that means we have a longer UV exposure, perhaps more males than females, but I assume this will get closer and closer in the next years and decades. And this one we need to deal and we need to work with, um, with our dermoscope. So, hopefully. Um, you have learned a little bit about collision lesions and um, just take your dermoscope, use it and detect a lot of things and have fun. Thank you very much.